Hello and welcome to Hardway Learning. Today we are working on the RS3. It is ready for the four bars. So we are going to take the intake plenum off, put the four bar map sensors in, and then load the new tune. See what it drives like. All right, so we gotta take the intake off to get the intake plenum off. So we got a little two and a half mil hex on this integrated engineering carbon fiber intake. Check out the install video. We got our handy dandy. And we got a couple of host clamps in this house. Those are eight millimeters, it seems. How much does it cost to fill a propane thing? All right, next step, 10 millimeters across the top. Sensors. Pull back, push down, push back. So we got those harnesses. And these. Lead pipe. A little taparoo with the mallet. Oh, I forgot there's a T25 underneath here. Right there. Twenty-seven. All right. So now we got to get the throttle body out of the way so I can get this Torx out for the second map sensor. And I believe it's T30s. Yes, ma'am. This guy. Pivot that up and out of the way. The map sensor. Maybe loosen this guy. Seven T twenty-seven. Otherwise, it would look like that truck could have bought or went looked at with the. Just come on out. Did that light die already? The case is the mod with the mics. This is why you're complaining about the bottom tap. Interesting. So now we tighten all these back up. Got our four bars in. We'll go slap this back into the car. Roll the M ones aside. So in order to install a fresh uh, file that just went into my downloads folder, open up my tuner with the my tuner connected via the USB. We can skip updates because we've already updated it. All right, and then we upload data, browse, select the file. Here's V7. It's a .usr file. From upload, yes. And what it usually does is leaves the last known running file in this USR. So once we get it on here, we'll have version six and version seven available, as well as our original USR file. But once you have the file loaded onto your MyTuner, you don't need any sort of internet connection once it's on the MyTuner itself. So you can change between files just using the MyTuner and the OBD2 port. Let's say you wanted to switch between an E85 file and a 93 octane file on the fly. We had been waiting on a file for a little while. We were also working through some oil consumption issues. Uh, we have a 
we noticed some oil in the turbo inlet pipe, so we installed a catch can to hopefully prevent any more oil getting into the valve, intake valves, and the uh, top of the pistons to prevent any sort of hot spots. All right, so now that our user file is loaded onto the My Tuner adapter, we like to exercise extreme caution, so we've got a battery tender on the car. Come over, connect the My Tuner to your OBD port. OBD. All right, and then we will turn accessory on. Keys in the car, accessory on. I like to roll the window down just because I'm always paranoid of locking the car with the keys in it. Go to tuning. Continue with writing a file, yes, V7. And that will take roughly 10 minutes. Car will throw a bunch of codes eventually through this process. All right, so once it's done writing, you get this message. Writing completed, switch ignition off and disconnect my tuner. So I always do this, bada bing. I say okay, disconnect. And if all things went well. <laughs>